hello everyone I believe it's only been a what a month since my last layout update I think this is a record for me but I've gotten a lot done I'm looking forward to showing everyone first thing I'm going to do is show you this right here this uh, the double switch uh, I had to add that after the fact it was a high it was a, a hindsight issue I didn't realize I was missing it until later on I only had one way to get between this track and this track and it was up there and it's only one direction so if I had to depending which way the train was going I would have to uh, back out of the of the loop and that just wasn't it wasn't fun nor realistic so here's an area that I scenic uh, I guess you would consider this the countryside before the town um, minus trees I still don't have too many trees in here yet I got some but not an awful lot I plan intend on getting more. I don't have any realistic water in the lake yet. That'll be coming. I uh, handmade that guardrail out of a uh, quarter inch square dowels. This Y is uh, important for several reasons. One being, gives me two ways now to turn an engine around if so needed, and I can turn around my bigger engines that don't fit on my turntable. I did finish back there by the uh, cell tower. Put a few trees in a building driveway I'm seeing a truck I do now have a rail yard. I still got one spur to finish. Maybe that one there. There's a reason I haven't done that one yet because I got pieces of wood holding up my temporary loop here. I tried to weather, not weather the tracks, but try to make it look like it's been, the, been there a long time, been beaten down. There's my other watery section. I want to thank PGH Train Fanatic Nick for uh, for this idea of the brewery. I saw his brewery in his video and I saw how much smoke was coming out of the stack and I thought that I had to have it. I got it. And there it is. It's uh, for the most part scenic. This is on a separate 14 volt feed from the building lighting. I, each thing has its own feed so I can control them either way. Um, I guess I should weather this car. This is supposed to be an abandoned track here. And uh, I put this here as like a billboard. And uh, like I said, I guess I should weather it. Throw a couple lights at it. We'll see how I do uh, with, we'll see what I do with it later on. I've been looking for a spot to put this uh, signal tower, and I do believe I found a pretty good spot for it. Spaced out rather nice. The trains don't come close to hitting it when they come around the curve. I only got one light working right now. The other one's not wired up yet. I need another one of those gray eye tads, which I got a zillion of them on here now as it is, but you need them, you need them. Here is the passenger station. As is the rest of the town, it's still uninhabited. But it's got plenty of parking for the future. Fence on either side. I really fall in love with this fencing. Really enjoyed making that. 
I don't have any lines in the road yet from that crossing to the Coors Brewery simply because I don't know where my intersections are going to be yet. This is going to be the main part of town right here on this side obviously. Uh, my next video you're going to notice that this hole is going to be a lot smaller than it is now. But that's the next video. I got some run-bys to show you. I hope you like them. And I'll talk and see you later.